Okay, we are going to be going through our Google Classroom. Um, so you kind of know what it looks like and you can you kind of know what to expect when you go in there and see the list of assignments that you will be completing during our school dismissal. So let me get us there and then I will show you. Um, we have set up a Google Classroom. This is for every student in fifth grade to use, okay? So each individual teacher does not have their own Google Classroom. We have done one Google Classroom for the entire fifth grade. So when you get there, you'll see we are here in Google Classroom. You will also see this um, link labeled fifth grade Plymouth. When you click on it, this takes you to our class, okay? Um, we have added every fifth grade student onto the Google Classroom right here, as you can see. You can scroll through and see your name. Um, and then also here's the list of teachers that are available on this, um, this particular classroom. Um, the tab that you're going to be working in is the Classwork tab, okay? So the Classwork tab has a few things, okay? There is a Start Here topic, a Writing topic, Language Arts, Math, science, PE, and art. These are all topics that you are going to work on during our school dismissal. So if you click on start here, it gives you a list of what you'll be doing on each day. So for example, Wednesday, March 18th, you will do all activities labeled day one. And I'll show you what those look like down below so you kind of see what I mean by that. Um, Thursday, March 19th, you'll do all activities labeled day two. Friday, March 20th, all activities labeled day three, so on and so forth. We do have seven days worth of material on this Google Classroom website, okay? Seven days worth of material. Obviously, we've put spring break in there because that is your break time and you will not be doing any schoolwork over those days, okay? So again, if you're wondering what day you're supposed to do what activities, this is the place to find it. Um, okay, let's look at writing. So if we, we go to writing and you click on it, it tells you right here that you will need to commit 25 to 35 minutes every day to writing. We've added a timer link at the bottom. So if you want to time yourself, all you have to do is click on this online timer link, set the timer for 35 minutes, and then um, just wait for the timer to go off. Um, in here, it has everything that you need to be doing for writing, okay? So this, there's only one assignment in here for writing because you will work on it each day that you are not in school, okay? So you're gonna start by creating a four square for the assigned writing prompt. I have a template available to you. So down here, if you click on four square, that will come up. It will allow you to edit yours. It will not allow me to edit it because I'm the one that put it up there. So it'll allow you to edit yours and actually type in um, everything that your Foursquare needs to include. Okay. Um, again, everything you need is listed there. And once you've written your essay, you are going to go submit it in Utah Compose. And I have copied the, or I've linked you to it right here. Okay. Now, this is where things are gonna get a little bit tricky. Miss Bateman's class, you will be working on the prompt all about dirt. So, read the prompt below. It's all this information right here. Um, you can click on the link to read about soil and see the attached file to read about the importance of soil. So here's that link. If you scroll down, soil importance. And this is another Thing that you may look at, piece of text you may look at to do your writing. Okay, um, if you are in Miss Osborne, Miss Mr. Guadiana, and Miss Van Etten's class, you will be working on the prompt "How Roller Coasters Work." So the prompt is right here. Okay, um, and then you're going to be using information from the reading, which is also down here. How roller coasters work. Okay, this it's a short it's a short quick read. And there are two YouTube videos for you to watch as well to help you do your writing and get information to, to do writing, okay? Um, 
So that's really the only thing with, with writing that I wanted to point out because there's just um, information at the bottom that you'll need to scroll down to use. Okay. Um, let's see. For language arts, we have added the Sora app information. And you should be doing 30 minutes of reading every day. Just because we're not in school, checking your planners to make sure you've read, that doesn't mean that 30 minutes goes away. Okay, so if you run out of books um, and you need some other options, this is how you can get into the SOAR app to, um, to get books, okay? And they went through this at the beginning of the year in library, but it's been a long time, so we've put the information for you. Um, during the seven days, you will be working on a National Park Research Report. Now, this is going to be something that you will do every single day, okay? You, I would say do it maybe 30 to 45 minutes every single day um, so that you're managing your time wisely but also giving yourself enough time to um, complete the assignment, okay? So you'll be researching a national park and creating a Google Slides presentation. It's just like the one we did um, for our state PowerPoint in the beginning of the year, um, first quarter, okay? There are questions that need to be included in your PowerPoint. So if you click on that, it'll bring up everything you need to include in your PowerPoint, okay? Um, all of these questions should be a slide, okay? And then, let's see. So that's something you're going to work on every day for the next seven days. Now, this is where things are a little bit different. Each day, um, we have day one, March 18th, Lexia and Percy Jackson reading. Okay, so on day one, which will be March 18th, tomorrow, Wednesday, you will come in and you'll see what you need to complete for that specific day. So, everybody's going to be expected to work on Lexia for at least 20 minutes. I have provided the link below, which you can scroll here. So when you click on this, It'll take you right to the Lexia sign-in page, okay? If you don't know your teacher's email address, most of you do, but if you don't know them, when you come back here, they're all listed right here in blue. So you can copy and paste those over or write them down and type it in there, either way. Um, I've also included another timer, which is right here, so that you can time yourself. Again, click on it, set the timer, time yourself for 20 minutes doing Lexia. Um, let's see. Many of you know that in fourth quarter we read the first Percy Jackson book, okay, The Lightning Thief. Um, since we're not in school, we'll obviously not be reading it all together, but over the, the course of the next seven days, you will be expected to get through chapters one through seven. Now, you don't have a book in front of you, obviously, but what you're going to do is you're first going to look at the vocabulary for each chapter. So this is just chapter one because it's the very first day you'll be working on it. So you'll click on Percy Jackson chapter one, okay? As you look through here, you will see words, vocabulary words that come right out of that chapter. On a separate sheet of paper, you will need to write the word along with the definition of the word for each of these, okay? Um, and there's a picture on each slide to kind of give you an idea, okay? You then will, once you've completed the vocabulary PowerPoint lesson, you're going to listen to each chapter. So since this is day one, this is going to be chapter one. Now, you'll click on the Lightning Thief chapter, and it'll come up. Percy Jackson and the Olympians. As you can see, it's going to read it to you, so you will need to listen carefully to that. Um, listen for those vocab words in there, okay? So that's going to be something that you do every single day over the next seven days. Um, another thing that you're going to do every day over the next seven days is a wonders activity. So you're going to click on, I'm going to use day one as an example, day one wonders. So, today you'll be working on Unit 5, Week 1, Approaching Weekly Grade 5. You will need to log into Wonders. Now, if you don't know how to log into Wonders, we have provided the instructions to do that with pictures. 
So you'll just go through, follow these instructions perfectly, and it will take you to wonders and exactly where you need to be and what you need to do. Okay? Um, you shouldn't have any problems logging in, but if you do, reach out to your teachers. We can help you with that. Okay? Um, the other thing I want to point out is this is language arts for the next seven days. So see how it only goes to day four. You may have to click view more to see the rest. Okay? Um, for math, you will be doing some math each day. So day one, March 18th, you're going to click on this Go Math assignment. So you'll be working in the online Go Math portal. Once you log into your Chromebook, it gives the information there. Okay, um, it also tells you today we'll, we will be working on lesson 11.1 polygons. If you don't know how to log into GoMath on your Chromebook, here is the login instructions. These are just like the ones I provided for Wonders, except for it's for GoMath. Um, oops, where am I? There we go. Um, we are going to be strictly doing a lot of review in math, okay? Um, the reason being is because obviously we're not in person and it can be a little bit hard to learn math online and we understand that. But we want to make sure that you are doing these lessons each day, okay? This is going to provide a really good review of chapter 11, okay? So that's one of your tasks for math each day. Then, as you can see, there's another tab labeled day 1, March 18th. Now this is for ST math, okay? Each day, you'll be expected to do 20 to 25 minutes of ST math. I've provided the link. So if you click right there, and it's blocked because my flash, uh, my Adobe Flash is out of date, but it'll take you right to the login screen. It'll take you there on your Chromebook, and you can log in and do your 20 to 25 minutes. Again, I've provided a timer, so you can just time yourself for that, that amount of time, okay? So again, math, we've got seven days worth of activity. You may have to click that view more tab to see all of them in the list, okay? Science, okay, we have seven days worth of science in here. So if we click on day one, March 18th, it tells you that you're gonna be reading a specific number of pages in the online um, science book, okay? I have provided the link to the online science book. So all you have to do is click and it brings it right up for you. You go to the page number, do your reading, and then you're good to go. Be aware that some of the reading has questions that follow. So you may be reading, you know, five or six pages worth of material and looking at pictures but there are questions that follow and will need to be answered. That's not going to be for every day, but for some of the days, yes. Okay. Um, let's see. Oh, we've also added, so Coach DeBry has added PE activities. It's a website that he created with different activities for you to do. Um, try to do one per day. We know you guys are stuck in the house and it's not super fun. So try to do maybe one per day. Go outside, get some fresh air. Um, and, and do one of those. You just click on this link. That's being kind of slow. You will have to log in, but your Chromebook should already be logged in, so it'll take you right to the link, and then you'll be able to see those activities that Coach DeBry has posted. Okay? Same goes for art. Um, Miss Stearman has sent over a couple of art resources for you to do on your time off. I know you're going to be missing out on, on these specials times, so please make sure that you, you know, find some time to do these activities as well. There is a link for you to click on there. Um, if you have any questions about any of this, please feel free to reach out to your teacher. Um, Ms. Osborne, Ms. Van Etten, and Ms. Bateman are all on the Remind app. Mr. Guadiana, Mr. Guadiana is available to take emails. So if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please, please, please reach out to us. We are available to help. Um, we hope that this works out for you. We hope that we'll be back to school soon. I know we will. So um, if you, again, questions, just come to us and ask us. We are available to help. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it helps you as you 
move into online learning. Okay, bye-bye.